everyone, hello subscribers, hi everyone that watches the Luke Rides in the United Kingdom. Cool. Hello, I hope you're doing great. I have a bit of an interesting announcement video to make regarding one of my motorcycles, my Luke Rides motorcycles. And you might find this quite interesting. Um, it's so fucking cold right now, I really don't want to hold my iPhone much longer. My iPhone S. So let's cue the intro and get back on the road. And then, let's figure out what Luke Rides has to announce. It's going to be interesting. Cue the intro. Fritted, windy and fucking cold all the time. Cue the intro. It's showtime. I don't, I don't think I can feel them. I don't think I can feel them. Oh my god. Oh my god, I think the wind's actually letting up for a change, you fuckwit. Oh, goddamn weather. Luke Rides exploring the roads of... The roads of... Uh, the UK. Let's do some off-roading. Woohoo! We have to start a new traction then! <laughs> Ooh, I would like to just go over that bump, but I think that'll be a bit cheeky. I don't think the locals will be happy about that. They'll be like, Oi, what are you doing on your XT being a cunt? And I'll be like, I'm just riding an XT. They'll be like, You can't do that, you can't do that. I'll be like, But I can though. And they'll be like, No, you can't do that. And they'll be like, Oh, fuck, fuck me. Oh, oh my god. Oh. So yeah, it's quite an interesting video really. I'm up on the up on the moors of the UK, up on the moors of Britain, right in my little single cylinder Yamaha XT660, riding uh, through the gorgeous moors, through the moors, riding. So yeah, I am actually going to make a change to my XT 660R. Uh, it's a wonderful enduro, a bit heavy for an enduro, but it is a wonderful motorcycle. And uh, not because I'm biased towards Yamaha. I have, um, you know, the way to look at it is Luke Rides not only owns a Ducati. Yes, I own Italian Exotica. I own Montenegro Valdicciolotto. You know, <laughs> the Italians say so say funny words and they're very beautiful. Um, you know, I own a Ducati Monster 1100 Evo. Um, you know, and I also own a Kawasaki Superbike. So I'm not biased towards Yamaha, uh, but I spent a long time with the XT660R. And it is an amazing bike. Um, good, solid performance, wonderful build quality. Fantastic on-road handling. It's a really nice piece of kit. It's a really nice piece of kit. And at the moment, feeling a bit rough out there. It's feeling a bit rough. It's a bit windy. But so far, we seem to be all right. So far, we're doing all right. Covering the miles on the lovely XT 660R and keeping out for other motorcyclists to nod at them, to say hello to them, to do the nod thing that you do. Um, but yeah, I'm on my XT660R, just going for a gentle blap, and at this moment as well, I'm uploading another video to YouTube uh, for my channel. Um, and uh, yeah, so my plan is, as of March uh, 2019, that's March 2019? I mean March 2020, um, I will be hooking up the XT660R with sexy and fresh new exhaust cans, but they're not just any exhaust cans. No, 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 I don't, I don't do shit. I don't do rubbish. Um, whoa, yeah! Woo! Woo um, the XT660R is, um, I'm actually going to hook it up with a yummy, yummy pair of Exotica. I'm going to hook up the XT660R, bang on the screen, 
acroprobic systems guys this is going to be one of the few xt660s in the united kingdom in britain that has a fully fledged acroprobic exhaust system well then basil this looks like a case for double oh hey <laughs> um which is absolutely bloody amazing um let's see if i can just pull it over a second a few moments later okay trying to stay a little bit off the mud or i feel it the xt is already starting to slide because this stuff is so awful oh, that's better okay cool 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 uh, uh it's a good engine as of um March into April 2020, Luke Ride's XT660R is about to be upgraded and we are going to upgrade her to a fresh new set of exhaust cans. They're not any ordinary exhaust cans, they're Acroprovix. Let's put it on the screen. Acroprovix guys. Give you, to give you an idea, this is what the uh, standard exhaust system with the cat built into the uh, end can over here, this is what they sound like. This is not very exciting, is it? She sounds punchy, you can feel the burble of a 660 cylinder engine, but... It's all being put held back. That's what it sounds like. What happens if we read the XT? This is what you get. The f held back. Really held back. There wasn't much that just happened there. And it's a shame. Um, it's a shame, isn't it? Oh my god! Let's get back on the road. And let's go and explore and see where the road takes us. Just do it! Uh, woo Got a little bit of a slide on there. A little bit of a slide, everyone. A little bit of a slide. There we go. Woo! Oh, here come the rain clouds. Oh, dear. I think that's rain. No, I don't think I know that's rain. Oh, bloody Nora. Maybe I should just not ride towards those clouds, but hey, I'm a glutton for punishment sometimes. Let's ride towards the clouds like fucking mantle people. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go mad and ride towards those dark, awful clouds because they're mental and funny. Woo! Let's have some water. Water on me, Oka. Woo! <laughs> So we're going to get a lovely pair of Acroprovix. Um, Acroprovix are very specialist. They're very much the pinnacle of exhaust systems. They are the finesse. They are the European drum and finesse of exhaust systems with the Italian sense of style. Um, with the, the reliability of the Japanese and Germans. So uh, it's going to be very awesome. They look quite sexy for the xt 660 r I've been curious and I've looked at other systems. And uh, yeah, other systems are cheaper. But they just don't fit the character of the XT. Those big cans are there because she's a big engine with uh, for an enduro. And she needs those big pops. So we're going to make sure the XT gets those big pops um, using the best system on the market. The best system indeed. Oh, uh, here comes the rain. Alright, might have to do a bit of a Yui. Gravel bits are slippy. This cloud just looks so menacing. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. What the fuck are we going to do now? What are we going to do? I mean, you can ride through them. What do you think? Be mental? Ride through them? <sighs> Fuck it. Nah, fuck it. You only get one life. You only get one life in this world. I'm gonna use it. <laughs> Alright. Let's go and explore the bus in the rain. 
Joker. Let's put the Joker on the screen. Yeah, he reminds, reminds me of me. <laughs> the Joker's insanity. He's like, <laughs> oh yeah, that's a bit of Luke Rides right there. Although I'm not the murdering, killing Joker. I just there's a sense of humour though. I love it because <laughs> it's very much human. Uh, so yeah, I've looked at other systems, but I can't say that I'm in awe. Um, I know what I say. Nah, I really can't say. I look at them and go, yes, that's worth putting on the XT. Because the other systems that I've seen are shorter, and they have like really stupid end bits on it, and it doesn't look nice it just looks stainless steel whereas the acroprovics are exotic they're fucking titanium and you can see that their metal finish is different from any other system on the market so um, yeah i'm a bit biased towards acroprovic um and their experience the experience of their exhaust systems have been just the best systems i've ever had um so uh, looking forward to it. It's going to be interesting fitting uh, a lovely set of Acroprovics to the XT. Um, so yeah, that's the announcement. Luke Rides is putting out Acroprovic cans on his awesome XT 660R Enduro. One of the biggest Enduros uh, you can buy with a single cylinder engine. But this bike is actually discontinued. Um, so Yamaha aren't building any more XT 660s. They stopped. Uh, the Tenia 700's now taken over. Um, but you know, I can't, I uh, can't really, you know, I just worry that the Tania 700 is just going to be heavier and bigger and for off road, you don't want that, you want lightness. Um, uh, and yeah, the uh, XT660R, which is a negative, is she is pretty heavy for an enduro, but you know, and uh, you know, I just can't seem to fit on a, a, a uh, I have looked at uh, alternatives to the XT to replace her but you know I just can't find anything that I'm into uh, you know you can tell me oh the cried you should think about the DRZ oh, I don't want a DRZ uh, I'm not into Suzuki's that's not my thing I'm not into Suzuki's and the DR400 is is old compared to today's standards it's an old motorcycle the Enduro the XD would decimate the D, the D, uh, the Suzuki DZR. I mean, the uh, Yamaha XT660R would just decimate the Suzuki. Um, so I'm looking forward to it, and I'm pretty excited about putting uh, X uh, Acroprovix on the XT660. Um, and on my video, um, what I'll do is I'll do the before of what uh, the XT actually sounds like. Uh, before and then what she sounds like with our acroprobic systems um, just so you all know the difference and I've got to say the difference will be incredible this is where we completely end this motor vlog at Luke Rides this is Britain it's pissing down and by the way the sun's also out oh, our weather pattern is like like a moody child and the child doesn't know when Nerf is no is no i mean god damn it oh, but don't worry i will still salute the flag after riding through all of this crap oh by the way there are no clouds over me and it's still fucking raining <sighs> and sign out for luke rides see you all later i hope you enjoyed that announcement because i know i did and it's all good and yo and woo and i don't know what i'm saying now i'm just making it all up no <laughs> just whatever comes to my head i'm just saying it <laughs> oh god oh i'm sure you think i'm from a fucking asylum or something yes yes luke right he, he had a couple of days in here and then he saw a motorcycle and he beat it up the staff and he got a motorcycle, and now we can't get him back. <laughs> yeah, because I want a motorcycle. <laughs> oh, bunnies. Uh, if you say it properly, that if you say a proper goodbye in a proper English way, like I do, in a British way, then it means something. That you're not just saying it, that there is some meaning, that you do really means what you've said. You hope. I oh, know I do. Jimmy, uh, 
Fuck me, no missing them flight, you're not getting Cheerio bullshit in my mouth. Because Cheerio is bullshit, so bullshit! Uh, take care everyone, see you later, stay warm, have fun, and, us, and uh, see you next time in the uh, next episode of The Look Rides. The Rides. The Rides! The Rides! Um, or, another way to put it, is... Um, and keep an eye out and enjoy the next episode from The Luke Rides. Oh, isn't that better? It's like, I'm not saying, oh, you must watch my video, like, you must watch it, like, I'm begging. It's like, I'm just saying it, uh, you know, and have fun watching my next video. You can't get any more sincere than that. Take it easy, take care, and that's how some spring! Or, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, okay, that's us spring! Whee! Whoa, that was a kick! Whoa, actually kick! <laughs> the way we... The little rascal has spirit. That's awesome. This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid. Everybody uses fucking English sometimes. Oh, I just the fucking puddle. Oh, oh, no, oh, I got splashed. Oh, yeah, let's do a slow mo on that. <laughs> Would anyone like a slow mo? Oh, I just bought the fucking puddle. Oh. Why are you laughing? I do not know. But it was a wonderful feeling.